Welcome to Gospel Share Missions. Four Fields Discipleship Multiplication Training. Field number two, the seeded field. How to sow the seed. In the last lesson, we studied tool number four, the three circles. Now this is tool number five, the baptism hammer, lesson number nine, page 12 in your training manual. Let us see the sequence. The 15 second testimony tool is your story. The three circles tool is the story of Jesus, the gospel. Now, the baptism hammer is the story of how the people in the Bible made Jesus the king of their life. In your training, ask your participants to draw this chart with these four columns and write on top, who was baptized, when they were baptized and who was the baptizer. Now write all these scriptures in the first column. If they have the training manual, they can use the chart on page 12. If you are training a good number of people, you can break up in groups, ask them to open their Bibles and discover in the scripture the answers. Remember you are training in how people in the Bible made Jesus the king of their life. Therefore, in the column of, when, ask them to discover if they were baptized immediately or after few months, if they were sprinkled with water or if they went down to the water, or if they just prayed without being baptized, or baptized immediately. After your group participants fill in the columns, go back all together and have a group discussion regarding what they discovered in the Bible. Two things your participants will discover is that when people heard the gospel message, they were immediately baptized in water, they did not have to believe and postpone baptism for later. Another thing that they will discover is that baptizers were different people, the apostles, but also the disciples and Christians consecrated to God, even if they did not have a diploma in theology. I will do it here with you. Acts 2 36 to 41. Who was baptized? Almost 3000. When? That same day. Who baptized? The apostles. Acts 8 36 to 38. Who was baptized? The eunuch. When? Immediately. Who baptized? Philip. Acts 9 10 to 18. Who was baptized? Saul. When? Immediately. Who baptized? Probably Ananias. Acts chapter 10 verse 24, 44 to 48. Who was baptized? Cornelius and his house. When? At the moment. Who baptized? Peter and his companions. Acts 16 13 to 15. Who was baptized? Lydia and her family. When? That same day. Who baptized? Paul and his team. Acts 16 31 to 34. Who was baptized? The jailer and his house. When? That same night. Who baptized? Paul and Silas. Acts 18 to 8. Who was baptized? Crispus, his house and many of the Corinthians. When? When they heard and believed. Who baptized? Paul and his team. Acts 19 to 1 to 7. Who was baptized? The 12 disciples. When? At that time. Who baptized? Paul and his team. When your participants train others, tell them to say, Now, you know the story of Jesus, and you know what the people in the Bible did. Now, tell them to finish this tool with the next powerful question to the person they are sharing with. What is stopping you from being baptized into Christ and making him the king of your life? If the person with whom they are sharing says, there is nothing stopping me, I want to be baptized. Then the time of salvation has arrived, we proceed to baptize him or her for the forgiveness of sins and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The next step is to take your new brother or sister to the growing field, to teach him or her two powerful tools that will help them grow strong and healthy in Jesus Christ. God bless you as you train others to train others with this simple, biblical, and reproducible tool.